When it comes to staying warm, we often think of heat as a single monolithic thing. You're either cold or you're warm. But the way you get warm matters immensely, not just for your comfort, but for your electricity bill and the very air you breathe. This is where the debate between infrared heaters and traditional electric heaters gets fascinating. Understanding this difference is the key to choosing the right tool. So let's break down exactly what sets them apart. Heating objects versus heating air. Here's the fundamental concept you need to grasp. A traditional electric heater, whether it's a fan heater, a ceramic model, or an oil-filled radiator, is a convection heater. Its primary job is to heat the air. It pulls in cool air, passes it over a heated element, and then pushes the now warmed air back out into the room. This warm air rises, circulates, displaces cooler air, and gradually the entire volume of air in the space gets warmer. You are warming the room, and the warm room in turn warms you. Infrared heaters, on the other hand, couldn't care less about the air. They work on the principle of radiant heat. Much like the sun warming your face on a cool day, an infrared heater emits electromagnetic waves that travel through the air until they hit a solid object. You, the sofa, the floor, the dog. The energy from these waves is absorbed by the object, causing its molecules to vibrate and generate heat. It completely bypasses the inefficient step of heating the air first. It's a direct transfer of energy from the heater to you. This distinction is not just a technicality. It dictates everything about how these two types of heaters perform in the real world. Speed and sensation. The difference in heating method leads to a dramatically different user experience, especially when it comes to the speed of warmth. Because an infrared heater sends heat directly to you, the effect is almost instantaneous. The moment you turn it on and stand in its path, you feel the warmth on your skin and clothes. It's direct, targeted, and immediate. There's no waiting period for a whole room to heat up. This is perfect for those moments when you come in from the cold and need to stop shivering as quickly as possible. Conventional electric heaters operate on a much slower timeline. They must first heat the air around them, which then has to circulate throughout the entire space. Depending on the size of the room, its insulation, and the power of the heater, this can take a significant amount of time before you feel a comfortable change in the ambient temperature. It's a gradual, slow build. If your goal is to preheat a bedroom to a cozy temperature before you go to sleep, this slow build is perfectly fine. But if you're looking for on-demand warmth in a specific spot, the wait can be frustrating. Energy efficiency. On paper, both infrared and conventional electric heaters can claim to be 100% efficient at the point of use. This means that every watt of electricity they draw from the outlet is converted directly into heat energy. There's no energy lost in the process, unlike with a gas furnace where some heat escapes up the flue. But this is where the paper specifications and real-world application diverge sharply. The efficiency of a heating system is not just about energy conversion. It's about how effectively that energy is used to make you comfortable. Here's where infrared often pulls ahead. Since it heats objects directly, it doesn't waste energy heating the empty air in a room, especially in spaces with high ceilings or drafts. All the energy goes directly toward warming you and the surfaces around you. You can feel comfortable at a lower ambient air temperature, which translates to significant energy savings. You're heating the zone you're in, not the entire volume of the house. A convection heater's efficiency is highly dependent on the environment. In a large drafty room or a space with poor insulation, a conventional electric heater is fighting a losing battle. As it warms the air, that precious warm air is constantly escaping through cracks and vents or rising uselessly to a high ceiling. The heater has to run continuously just to maintain a baseline temperature, leading to higher energy consumption. In a small, well-insulated room, a convention heater can be quite effective, but the moment you introduce variables like open doors or drafty windows, its practical efficiency plummets. 
the right tool for the right job, matching heater to space. This brings us to the most practical consideration. Where are you going to use it? The different heating methods make each type of heater specialized for different environments. Infrared heaters excel in scenarios where you need targeted, zonal heating. Think of a drafty garage, a workshop, an outdoor patio, or even just your desk area in a large, chilly, open-plan office. In these situations, trying to heat the entire volume of air would be incredibly inefficient or downright impossible. Infrared allows you to create a bubble of comfort exactly where you need it without wasting energy on the surrounding space. They are also ideal for rooms with high ceilings where heat from a convection heater would simply rise and accumulate uselessly far above your head. Conventional electric heaters, by contrast, are built for creating a uniform, ambient warmth in enclosed, well-defined spaces. They are the right choice for a bedroom, a small living room, or a home office, where the goal is to raise the overall temperature of the entire room and keep it stable. Once the room is up to temperature, a good thermostatically controlled electric radiator can maintain it efficiently, provided the space is reasonably well sealed. Using one in a large, open, or drafty area is simply a recipe for high electricity bills. Air quality and comfort. The way a heater works also has a direct impact on the quality of the air in your home. This is a factor that is often overlooked, but can have a big effect on comfort and health. Infrared heaters are champions of air quality. Because they don't rely on air circulation, they operate silently and don't kick up dust, pollen, pet dander, or other allergens. This makes them an excellent choice for people with allergies or respiratory sensitivities. Furthermore, because they don't superheat the air, they don't dry it out. The radiant warmth they provide helps maintain a more balanced and comfortable humidity level, preventing the dry skin, scratchy throats, and static electricity that often accompany winter heating. Traditional electric heaters, especially fan-assisted models, are the exact opposite. The fan mechanism actively circulates air, which means it's also circulating every particle of dust and allergen in the room. This can be a major problem for anyone with asthma or allergies. The process of heating the air also tends to strip it of moisture, leading to uncomfortably dry conditions. While oil-filled radiators are gentler because they use less forceful convection and have no fan, they still fundamentally operate by heating and circulating the air, which will reduce humidity over time. Durability and safety. Finally, let's consider the construction and safety of these devices. An infrared heater is a remarkably simple piece of technology. It has very few moving parts, often none at all. This translates to silent operation and greater durability. There are no fans to wear out or collect dust and no motors to burn out. This minimalist design often leads to a longer lifespan. From a safety perspective, many infrared models have cool to the touch surfaces and they all come with standard safety features like automatic shut off if they overheat or tip over. Fan assisted electric heaters have moving parts, which are points of potential failure. The fan motor can wear out over time, and the fan itself can become noisy or clogged with dust, reducing its efficiency. Some older or cheaper models with exposed heating elements can pose a burn risk, though modern electric heaters are generally very safe and come equipped with the same tip over and overheat protections as their infrared counterparts. So which is better? The bottom line is that the choice is less about which heater is better and more about which one is better suited to your specific task. If you need to create a pocket of warmth in a specific area, especially in a large or drafty space, an infrared heater is the smarter, more efficient choice. If your goal is to maintain a steady, cozy, room-filling warmth in a smaller enclosed space, a traditional electric convection heater will do the job perfectly well. It's about matching the physics of the heater to the reality of your space.